Uh, I once spent a day posing for photos for a medical textbook. <laughs> um, wow. When Can't was, believe that. When was this, Frank? Um, it was about 15 years ago. Um, whom was the publisher who... Oh, my God. Whom? Like, whom? Whom? <laughs> whom? Oh. I believe it was Simon and Schuster. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching Downton Abbey, whatever. Um, I think it was La Trobe University Publishing or something like that. Were you naked? Yeah, what, what part of your body? Everybody wants to know, yeah, were what, you naked? What part I was of naked. your body? No, I was, I was naked because at that time I had, like, quite a big cyst. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, so it was because of a medical anomaly. Yes, originally the first diagnosis was that I had three testicles. <laughs> but then it turned out that one of them was just, was just pus. <laughs> that is a tough day. How God. qualified was the doctor who thought who mistook one of your cysts for the third testicle? Did the doctor say, and whom do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> when did you discover your cyst? My cyst? Yeah, when did you discover when did that I there discover was one it? extra ball in the bag? Um... <laughs> <laughs> it swelled up quite quickly, uh, and then after five days, I went to the doctor, and he went, oh, I th for a moment there, I thought you had a third testicle. Um, and Jeff, which I is the kind of banter the that doctors get into, as I found. <laughs> Then he got it qualified and said, oh, no, it's not a third testicle. We did an MRI and they were worried it could have been something really serious, but then it turned out it was just a cyst. And he said, because people often confuse this condition with a more serious condition and there's not... We don't have a lot of opportunity to have <laughs> photographs of it, how would you feel about us photographing I... this as a, for medical records? When you had three, you know, like those office executive stress toys. Could you do a bit of that yeah. and like, have them go back and forward like that? That's why I didn't go for five days, because I was stress-free. <laughs> for the, you know, for the... So much fun. Was it very visual? Was it lower than the other testicles? To me, this is just my opinion. Like, I thought from an artistic point of view it looked better. <laughs> They ask you to shave the area pre... No, they, they actually didn't, because that was part of the thing. If they wanted it to look kind natural... of more or less like it would present itself in... And you've seen the photos? Oh, they're great photos. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think on his Christmas card this year? <laughs> Jingle bells. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a copy of the book, but I, I, it's on the bookshelf somewhere. It's not as if everybody who comes through, it's on the, on the coffee table, and I hope they flick through to... Oh, I've just realised, I'm so glad it wasn't a pop-up book. <laughs> 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 to the photo shoots. Like, the photo shoot. We didn't think of it so much as a photo shoot. No, like, that's it, was, is it, it was it a bit like, OK, work it, work it, or was it, was it sort of medical photography? It was so similar to medical photography that it was medical it photography. It was <laughs> medical photography. <laughs> virtually right. indistinguishable and, from medical so photography. so when medical paparazzi take photo of your balls... So they just jump out of the bush. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank God you had them shaved. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where, where is your cyst now? Well... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> is it here? Is it in a jar? I would love to know. Um, I'll tell you a weird thing. Do you a require thing. by any chance? <laughs> the weird thing is I do have it. Like, I don't know if anybody has had procedures like that. And, like, I've, got a, I've also got a bit of cartilage from a knee operation. But where, where do you keep the cyst today? Yeah, where is it? Well, I've got, like, a little box of body... <laughs> I've got a little box of body parts, all right? Right. That is... <laughs> guys, guys, he said little. Yeah, Chill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're, and you're waiting for signs to catch up. We've got his knee, we've got a testicle. Yeah. <laughs> we can rebuild him. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I have seesawed on this. The, I, as he's told mm. that I've gone yes, no, yes, no, and now I don't know what to think. What it... Yeah, look, I, I'm on the line as well. I was like, no. And then I was like... Well, maybe a box of body parts is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say I, I hope it is a lie. See, I'm thinking it might be true. It I thought is, when he to sort of got into MRI territory, there was a little bit of authority there. <laughs> what a journey! Let's say this first and <laughs> foremost. Absolutely. What a journey! But the thing that fell apart for me is I feel that they would ask him to shave his testicles because they would want to see what it's like. But the situation in this instance was a photograph. They probably want it to look as hideous as possible, and I'm sure Frank achieved that. 
I'm a natural. <laughs> I'll need an answer. I am going to go against my team on this. I, OK. I think this might be true. All right, Frank Woodley. Well, uh, Chris, I think on this occasion you've discovered that you should not trust your instincts. <laughs> I conjured up images of your testicles for naught. Is any of that I true? don't even have any testicles! 